Hi everyone, I'm uh, Bristow and I'm one of the pastors at Vineyard of the Rockies. Last Sunday I spoke and the title of the message was, What is the state of your union with Christ? It's kind of a play on the state of the union address that will be given in about a month by the president. Uh, but as we enter 2020, I just want to ask the personal question, how is your union with Christ? Is it intact? Is it frayed a bit? Um, I, I think a central way that we have union with Christ is that, is that God's power actually lives in us. Don't you know, Paul asks us, that His Spirit lives in you? Think about that reality for a minute. The power of the one who raised the Messiah to life lives in you. Amazing. Uh, but you know what? If we're honest, uh, we often experience a kind of breakdown in, in that reality, I, I think. I, like think. I think a lot of times um, it doesn't really seem like we have the power of God living in us, right? That's my experience anyway. But God gives us the reason for this breakdown in Romans 8. And it's just this. It's, it's our focus. We're focusing on the wrong thing. We're focusing on ourselves and, and especially on our old patterns of living. And you know what happens when we do that? It says we actually become hostile to God himself. We say that we love him, but we're actually being hostile towards him. Wow. But then Paul says something um, really encouraging to us. He says, hey, you're not people who focus on the flesh because you're not people of the flesh. You're people of the Spirit. So, so be determined by the Spirit. Uh, I just want to encourage you that as we enter 2020, be formed by the Spirit. Follow the Spirit. Live in accordance with the Spirit. And, and your reality for 2020 will be this, peace and life. Your future for 2020 is so bright. So blessings on your heads.